All right, Jaren, what a win at home, man. Top 10, uh, CrowdStorm, double OT. You're playing a lot of big games and now have some notable wins in BYU history. Where does that stack up for you? <clears throat> Definitely up there in the top couple, I'll say that, but I, I couldn't put a number on it. Okay, let's watch uh, some plays from this game. Notably, at the end of the first half, you take a shot to Chase Roberts and it pays off. So moving the ball really well, and we got a good cover four Packer look is what we call it. So the safeties are pretty much bracketing number two, and it just left Chase on an island. Just give Chase a chance. He ran a really great route, saved the box is what we call it. Gave me a lot of grass to throw to, made a heck of a catch. Is that as good of a throw as you can give him to avoid the <laughs> defender? Yeah, it could always be better. It could always be better. What could have been better right there? Uh, in the red zone, you can get it up and down a little quicker. I was uh, definitely pushing a little bit on how long I waited to get it out. Did you know it was good, or did you have to see the replay to feel like it was I good? I knew it was good. Chase, the, the, just his reaction afterwards, I could tell he knew <laughs> it was in. How about this, dude? You have no Pook and no Gunner. These guys know going into the game, okay, we've got we to gotta bring this if we're going to yeah. beat Baylor. Yeah. Run game's struggling. You had to have this performance, right. and this guy, freshman, yeah. goes eight for 122 and a touchdown? Are you kidding me? I, I think we all knew he was, conf he was uh, capable of it. And the same with all the other guys. I mean, everyone else contributed big time too. Uh, Chase just got his, his number called more often, um, and he really capitalized on his opportunities. Okay, the brilliance of A-Rod is he saves the play until the right moment, and he <laughs> did with the throwback. Yep. This time Chase hooks you up. Yep, Chase, you know, return the favor, I guess you could say. Give me a little love. Honestly, this is a play we've been repping for probably a year now, maybe more. And it's the first time we, we felt like it was the right time to call it. We made sure to get a backwards pass so Chase could get it back to me. And then, geez, you got four offensive linemen running in front of you with a lot of green grass. That's a pretty good feeling right there. Okay, you're at the 25, uh -huh. and you got three of those dudes in front of you. <laughs> There's no question in your mind you're scoring, I yeah, imagine. I, I just wish I'd have slowed down <laughs> a little bit, let Kingsley kind of do his thing, and then walk in the end zone, not make it so dramatic. You got. And me surfing on top of Kingsley, Connor coming, jumping on top of me. How would you rate this pass by Chase? Oh, uh, beautiful. Good touch, good spiral, you know. It's a 10 out of 10. When you score that, mm -hmm. can you hear the crowd or do you silence it all out? In your no, mind? it's it's silencing, especially when you when you score with your offensive lineman like that. It's not something you do often, so to have all those guys around you to be celebrating in the end zone, it was pretty cool. How do you not give away the excitement that the ball's gonna come back to you here? Uh, like a, like a honestly, tell with a pitch. On this one, I didn't do very good. If you can see, the, they get a little bit of pressure up the middle and I have to kind of flip around and run. We usually practice it by me just kind of floating back, playing it safe, but this one I, I kind of did give away, so I was surprised. I guess, you know, when you get chased the ball that many times during the game, they respect it and follow them, so. Okay, then the very last play of the game. It's fourth and 12. <coughs> the Rock has uh, done their thing with uh -huh. multiple false starts. Yeah. Incredible performance by them, by the way. Absolutely. Then Baylor uh, has one more shot at this. Walk me through what you're seeing and feeling on the on the sideline. Yep. Um, this one, I mean, I just I just walked down on the other side. I felt like I knew it was going to happen in our favor because of how well our defense played and they were ready for this moment. Um, they bailed us out all night and played hard. And so for me, it was just kind of the waiting game. Had the towel over my head, just kind of you know praying in my heart everything goes well. And, and sure enough, we. Our defense gets it done. The image of the game for me and many fans was you with Jake Oldroyd. Uh -huh. This is an emotional moment, obviously, yeah. for the both of you. What did you say and, and what did it mean to you to be there with Jake? Yeah, just to remind him I love him. I mean, football is a team game and it, it's tough sometimes. It seems like it comes down to one person's mistake, but that's never the case. He made multiple field goals throughout the game for us when we couldn't score as an offense, made the PATs. To have him miss a couple, I mean, look throughout his career, he doesn't do it very often. And so for me, I just want to make sure Jake knew he was loved and he would have done the same for me. You know, I know he would. Being number 12, validation, poison? Yeah, it's all poison. I mean, it's all poison. <laughs> that's, uh, you know, the rankings are a trap. And so I think, uh, this year we have a team that's mature enough to look past that and just know that you know, no matter what our ranking is or what the other team's ranking is, they don't care what we are. We don't care what they are. Um, so you just got to respect the game, respect your opponent, and, and give it the best you can. Okay, now you have Oregon. Uh, big time game in Austin mm -hmm. Stadium. You played in a bunch of big time <coughs> games. Another challenge, a different kind of team sure. than what Baylor is. Yeah, yeah, they're very, very talented, very fast and explosive. Big team. Um, they're a really good defense. And then going into their stadium, I've never been there, but I've heard a lot about how loud it is, how excited they get. We just need to be dialed in our, you know, our uh, fundamentals and our cues and, and just go play ball. Well, good luck in uh, Austin. Have fun. Thank you.